Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. But this is not really a tutorial. Uh, I have a small gift for my lovely followers. I made uh, something like a studio rig. Uh, I, I, I know these rigs that there are a lot of in, in, on the internet. Uh, from Grayscale Gorilla have a big one, a very big one, but not so, not so cheap. And and the toolbox uh, and everything is here, but I, I made my own, so so I, I have exactly this what I want, and I thought maybe you want it too. So uh, and the best thing of it is it's free, of course. So I show you how in this video I will show you how it works, and then I write a small help file that you know where the library file has to be gone, also so where you put the library file. So but I'd, first I will show you what it is. So you find when you put it in your library browser, you find it uh, under presets in your content browser under presets. Here you have the Nicomedia scene rig. Of course, I put it in the add to favorites. I put it in the favorites. It's the star here, and you get this. And this Steam file just double click it. Here you get a nice next screen. But don't be afraid. <laughs> it's just uh, if you want to donate something, uh, I am saving for a new monitor, so maybe you want to help me. Uh, but this you can very get very very easy get rid of this. So click on the Nicomedia scene file, and here under the user data, you have annotation. And just click off, and if you save your file now, uh, you never see this again. So it's just one. When you open it, then you see it. When you open it directly from the content browser, but just off and that's it. So the next thing, but what we have here is an infinite floor. When we render this, we get this, just an infinite floor. And now, what can we do? We can put here. This is an HDRI uh, lighting rig, so. I have I, I made one uh, studio just for this uh, uh, tutorial here to, to to show you how it works. I made this studio, this one here. It's a big uh, HDRI, and you can but you can use every HDRI. Just uh, but I'll show you at first how it works. So take a cube. Oops, put it on the floor here. Is it on the floor? Yep. Okay, then make it a little fillet cap so we can see some reflections. Okay, next is we need a material for this cube here, so make shiny material. So this is just, this is not to show you how to make a material, I do just quickly one. Orange is good, okay. Don't need this. It's GGX. Then make it electric. Don't need, don't need. Okay, and something like, yeah, it's okay. Good. Just to show you, with this one, with this file, with this studio, we get these reflections. See, we have here like reflections and something. But uh, we have uh, render settings too with this library. So go into render settings, and here I want to take a low with GI and render it again. Now you see it much better. Okay, that's this. And uh, let's make another render setting. Just low with GI is okay, but make an. Automate with twenty is okay. Just to render it in the picture in the picture viewer so we can compare the, the, the results. So this is the first result we get. So. Okay. So this is one of the things. <laughs> Let's delete this. Delete this. And delete this. So this is this what we get now. Okay. And as I said, you can put here 
H, HDRIs, whatever you want. So I have here one. Let's take this. This is from the SIPL uh, loader. I take this and drag it just in here. No, I don't want to save it now in the bus. No. And in this moment, I have it here. And you see, it, it, it's this file. You get the reflections from the normal in the color mode, in the color channel. And we have the light comes in the luminance channel here. And it will be blurred too, so you get a nice soft light and no sharp lights. The sharp lights and sharp reflections we can do with this too, but I'll show you later how it works. So, okay, now we have this and looks now like this. Okay. Next thing we can do with this rig light intensity. Okay, I think it says all. Increase it, render it, and of course, we get this. This, uh, here you see the end of the floor. But if we with the higher uh, render settings, then it will disappear. So, and so so light, you don't need it. It's just to show you how it works. So, okay, this yeah, this is this. Go back to hundred. Then we have here the reflections, and the ref here I made a reflection brightness. So here, if you increase this, it just brightens the reflections but not the illumination. You see? This is before and this is after. And now we take this again here. Go back to 100 here. And this is a reflection contrast, so you get sharper reflections. And if I increase this, now you see how it looks here. Increase it, render it. And you get much sharper reflections, you see it? You can increase it. You see? That's a big difference. <laughs> okay, that's this. Go back to this one here. So the next is, uh, I think that's, you know what this is, the background color. So here you can change your background, however you want. So the first knob, is brighter one, so let's say I want here a bright blue, or something like this. And the second, I normally I, I remove the second, just click on it and drag it down. And control click here on this knob and drag it to the right so you will copy it and now I can just make it a little darker. So what I get now is something like this. And of course now if I want the first knob even brighter, just make it brighter and we get this. Okay. I want it so. Next thing is the floor size. Sometimes uh, you need to do make the floor bigger or smaller, so just make it here bigger and smaller. Yo. And you can go over this, of course, you can make it oops, you can go over this 2000, but I did it from you no know, 2000. So, so, zero to thousands, two thousands, but as I said, you can go here and go over the two thousands. So up and down should be clear. <laughs> Next are the, ref the reflections. When, if you want reflections, the reflections on, then I want about, let's say, uh, 25. Just for testing, we have this, and now render it, and we get reflections. They don't look so nice now because uh, you see the sharp shadows from the HDRI image. 
the front of the HDR image. But you can avoid this, go take a little reflection, a uh, reflection player. Then it will get better and better and better, so but we don't need so much reflection. So Okay, next thing is the reflection area. So I put down the, if you see, you see it better now, we have the reflections until here is the stop. But if, if you go with the black knob, if you go to the right, you get a bigger uh, size of the reflection. But then you have to make your floor bigger, of course. And to the left, of it will be smaller. Let's say like this. Yep. But I think I wanted this and a little blurriness. And that's it. So let's render this. Okay, and now the next thing, the last thing, is you can turn off your floor if you want just to render with the background. And you can turn off your background so you get a black background. And that's it. So this is the rig. I hope you like it. Uh, uh, I, I find it really handy. <laughs> And that's not the reason I did it, but I think it's okay. So, yeah, nothing but I say the next tutorial will uh, will come, I think, on weekend. I'm a little busy now, but uh, this week I did today, and, and uh, every time that the people ask me, hey, how do you do this, this, this lighting and this uh, infinite flow, and blah, 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 blah. And I think that with this, it should be easy to work. And I will do some more studio here, and then I will update uh, continues. So, so every time when I do some studios, I will update, update, update. So follow me on my Facebook and somewhere, and, and you will see the news, and you will get the the new ones, or on my homepage or somewhere. Okay. All in, all links you need and the help file for for installing this thing will be in the description and I wish you a nice evening. So bye bye, or uh, evening, but here in, in Austria it's evening, I don't know where you are. Anyway, wish you a nice day. Bye bye and have fun. <laughs>